Good afternoon, Will. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Will Taylor, Coffee with Will, coming to you from Austin, Texas on a beautiful day. I am not drinking coffee. have been without it since 1st of December 2018, and I feel much better for it, for not being on caffeine, and also without alcohol. Pretty much, I think I've had one glass of wine in the last two and a half months. Thanks for joining me where I like to share some insights I'm having, simple things, conversations we can have. And if you want to hear more of these, click on the little bell button. I think it says notify me when Will goes live. Uh, I would love to interview folks, musicians, creative people, people out in my audience that would love to talk about some of these topics. I've been collecting the Coffee with Will talks for about, probably about a year now. And today's talk... Let me back up a little bit. So I've been collecting these for about a year now. And what I'd like to do is get a podcast where I take a topic that I've talked about or shared and talk with a guest in more depth and and start a podcast where basically there's the intro, this is the intro, and then I go more in depth with uh, a guest, a musician, an artist preferably, but also maybe somebody else that I know in my community who's passionate about things that we're... uh, talking about here. How's it going? Glad that you joined us. Glad that you joined me. I'm keeping my eyes on the road. I'm headed to go play uh, a one-hour outreach show for Elmcroft Senior Living. I'm going to play some violin and some piano. Today, while I was checking out at the grocery store, and I absolutely hate going to the grocery store. I know I need to work on that and let go of that resistance that I have, um, you know, and ask, well, what is this resistance teaching you, Will, is the question. What is the resistance saying that what that I need to learn? There's something about it. I have impatience with minutia and finding little objects in a giant store that are, that are hidden when there, there's just so many choices. I feel overwhelmed by the choices and I just want to get out of there. <laughs> Honestly, it's an anxiety producing situation going shopping, but I decided to push through it and you know, be present with my feelings, and I was successful. I retrieved all of the items and the correct items. I think men have trouble with this in general, but I know there are probably men out there that excel at it. But at the grocery store, as I get going through the check outline, I notice there isn't a bagger. So I start bagging my groceries, and I remember when I was a kid in 1989 working at HEB up at Hancock Center, And I remember how much I wanted out of that job. And I would go play at Stubbs Barbecue in the middle of the night after my job bagging groceries. You know, and they say that it's that you got to start off with a real menial task when you're a kid that, you you know, you need to learn the value of work. Well, I didn't feel that way about bagging those groceries today. I thought, well, this is a very relaxing meditative activity. Simple. Made me think of when I was cleaning my trailer, um, really get, getting down on my hands and knees and committing to getting dirty and, and, and exploring every nook and cranny and crevice and seeing how clean, kind of like what I think, uh, when I was doing it, I was reminiscing, this is what, um, when you go through boot camp, you know, in the military, uh, that, that, that you learn to, to not have any pride and, and that everybody is on the same level. And I really found the cleaning of the trailer to be quite meditative. And I felt myself kind of getting into a 